Hi folks, I'm Johnston Blakely with Investigative Training and I want to talk to you about unmanned surveillance. I've done a lot of research and I want to just talk to you today, today about a segment of unmanned surveillance uh, utilizing time-lapse cameras. Uh, obviously in the old days we uh, people used to bring cars into a neighborhood, park them, trunk full of batteries, a VCR on slow play or time-lapse and uh, record for days or a week, come back, fetch the car. That's very cumbersome and uh, people started getting into products like this hunting cameras or scouting cameras, some people call them um, use the feed feeder cameras, feed watch cameras and they're good but uh, they, they go for a long time but they're cumbersome and, and they're big and they look like hunting cameras so I want to tell you about some products that I've been researching that I've utilized in the field and they're very very good like, uh, like what time lapse is for for what we do is for seeing people's activities over a long period of time uh, sometimes subjects you don't know if they're leaving in the day or night so you've set up on their house between uh, 6 o'clock in the morning you left at 4 o'clock in the afternoon they hadn't budged, what are they doing, when do they come, when do they go, are you going to use man surveillance and uh, pay the costs of that or go with something like these two items right here on man surveillance. Now I'll show you the size difference here. Trail camera and versus the miniature versions here they're not these aren't actually trail cameras but these are from two different companies and uh, obviously I have my opinions uh, which ones I liked I've tried them both and uh, let me just tell you a little bit about them All right, the first one here is the uh, Brino B-R-I-N-N-O it's the TL200 and the other one that I'm going to show you is the Recolo, R-E-C-O-L-O, -O. it's from Japan. Now there's uh, some differences between the two of these. Let me tell you about the family of other time-lapse cameras that uh, this company makes here, the Brino. They make a uh, garden watch camera, which is a waterproof camera for people watching their plants growing up. It's a little bit bigger than this. Uh, the TLC 100, very similar to the Garden Watch, the Mac 100, uh, which is another one that I would like to uh, do a review on. It is waterproof and it's uh, high definition as well. They have a Bird Watch cam, which is motion, and let me just back up a little bit. The Mac 100 is motion as well as time lapse. The Birdwatch cam is more for uh, watching birds, has a more distant sensor on the uh, motion. So, and just to let you know that I am an affiliate uh, with Smart Tech, the company that sells these ones here. But I review all products honestly here and uh, just to give you my impression of how they work based on real field experience. All right, let's compare the two of these. I have uh, notes here because there's quite a few things I want to talk about. The uh, just to compare and contrast, this one here, Ricolo is waterproof or rainproof. It's not submersible or anything like that. Um, although it comes in white or orange, and I painted it black, as you see here. The T TL200 is uh, not waterproof, although it does look very well sealed. And I have built a waterproof container, a little electric box, and I'll show you in another video exactly how I built that to contain this, which is what I like anyways, because it looks very non-conspicuous. Um, it's very good for surveillance. It, you can pretty much place it anywhere and it just looks like it's supposed to be there. Let me go over the features of the Brino. It has a rotating head on the camera, goes up all the way, and it goes past straight out to down. It has an LCD screen 
that uh, allows you to line up the shot. It has menu and time and date. Uh, the other one does not have time and date and I will tell you exactly how I worked around that and it's not really a workaround, it's a problem. So with this you can change the functions. You can record on the, on the Brino uh, down to one frame every second, one still one shot every second and you can go up to a shot every day or whatever and have it going months but with my calculations uh, the one shot a second actually not my calculations I actually did this went an entire week uh, of recording one shot a second now it takes four AA batteries I use the lithium batteries, the Energizer 8X battery to be specific and, and that's what kept it going for so long. It takes SD cards, here's the SD card slot. Now the SD cards, I, the first one I tried, I believe it was a Patriot card, it, it would, this camera wouldn't accept it. Uh, so I tried, I, I put in a, uh, a Virgin SanDisk card, 32 gig, and it worked fine. And I was told by uh, somebody who, who uses these sorts of things too that uh, it's best to use a Virgin card in any of these sorts of things and use that card specifically for the, cam the camera and, and not switch it between devices. Uh, has some other ports here for electric and uh, USB out and I think there's some other shutter, wired shutter thing too that goes with this. It also has an accessory for wide angle uh, if you want to make this very wide angle. But uh, I have no need for that. The Ricolo, uh, great little machine. Uh, first time I used it, it was very simple to set up. I put some, some uh, Velcro on the back and I stuck it somewhere and recorded the events for an entire day and uh, it worked absolutely wonderful wonderfully and this is waterproof it comes with uh, a separate little cover that allows you to plug in uh, elect AC electric to keep it going for much longer and your SD cards go right in there. It, this, this one seemed to be able to take whatever SD cards I, I threw at it. The lens is here and you do have a little look through here although I painted over it a little look through so you can actually line up your uh, shot but there's no LCD screen other than the one that is for the menu. Now this one goes down to only three uh, three seconds per shot um, but I found that since it has a limited file size, unlike the Brino, is unlimited. You fill up the card completely. This one's limited in the file size, and uh, three seconds is not enough. Uh, I'd record something at 10 seconds, a shot every 10 seconds and that is very very difficult to see the comings and goings of somebody with a shot every ten you blink when you're watching it back and uh, a garage door can open close and then be gone and you'd, you'd hardly know other than maybe one little frame and we watch these back in fast motion otherwise you'd be there for a long period of time and uh, so five is is uh, workable on this one and uh, five will get you around I believe it's uh, 12 13 hours of uh, time lapse to me that's not enough because I can get that on smooth steady roll film at 30 frames a second and uh, so that's a bit of a problem with this one now let me uh, um, tell you exactly what these do, how these process the stills. The good thing is both of these turn it into a movie file so you don't need to put it into any special program to create a movie file it does it for you and when you take out your SD card, put it in your card reader or plug it straight in with this one uh, 
it's just a single movie file and you put it in your program that uh, for burning DVDs or however you you want to do that or if you just want to use it for observation then you just uh, watch and I find uh, Windows uh, media player is not good for playing these back uh, QuickTime is very good the resolution and the compatibility of these uh, with different programs this is higher resolution this is 1290 by 720 this Ricolo is 720 by 480 uh, time and date stamp, not time and date stamp, and the setting the time and date on the, the TL200 here is very very easy. You just go into menu, set the time and date like you would on a camcorder. Because if you've noticed, if you've bought a lot of different uh, uh, surveillance products, especially from China and such, there's a weird way to set up the time and date where you have to uh, put a little file set the time and date on your computer into a little file and then put the little file on the SD card and you ha and and plug the SD card into your device to set the time and date and every time you recharge the device you have to do that process again but this one's very simple you just set it and you go and there's various uh, settings that you use with the TL200 uh, the one that you really want to have set is so that it continues recording in low light. It doesn't shut itself off when it when it uh, is in low light. Um, I know a lot of hunting, the trail cams do that. They sense that there there's not enough light and they shut down to conserve battery. But this has an override for that. All right, let me talk to you about compatibility with your computer uh, and with your uh, programs for processing video for to burn them out DVD or however you present them to your client. Um, like a lot of products that record in their own type of proprietary AVI format, video format, I had some problems with both of these and a few more problems with the TL200 than the Ricolo and uh, I tried several programs uh, to see if they would accept the format and Premier, Premier Pro from Adobe does not um, Windows Movie Maker does not, there's several others that didn't all the Apple products did and Premier Elements 3.0 did which is a great program anyways and it's very cheap and uh, After Effects uh, plays it very well and so what I what I do personally I put it into After Effects and then I shift it straight over to Premiere Pro and it works fine that's how I did uh, th this video but uh, so that's a little bit of an issue with some some people they may not be able to use the program that they normally like to use for burning DVDs as it may not accept it but I will uh, show step by step in a, in a later video. So I give the compatibility ratings of both of these uh, very low, but well worth it. So let me show you exactly uh, what these uh, look like video wise pitted against each other. I have them on the same screen and I, I do a few little things with them so that you can see what's going on. All right, on the left side of the screen we have the Brino TL200, obviously much larger screen size than the Ricolo at 1290 by 720. We're going to zoom in here and see exactly how much zooming in we can do before the video breaks up. First we'll go to the Brino side and you can see, you can go in quite a ways, it starts to break up, everything gets a little soft but you can still see what's going on. Let's shoot over to the Ricolo and it just completely breaks up. There's not much you can do in post crop after uh, filming with that camera. So let's go back and wait for nightfall. It'll get darker and darker here and we'll see which one wins in low light. The time and date 
can be seen at the very bottom. It's a nice small time and date on the Brino. And you can see the clarity there, especially in the sky with the clouds. Far more definition in the Brino. Um, these are actual screen size. I have not uh, scaled them down in any way to fit. I just chopped off the left side of the screen. The Procolo is actually wider angle than the Brino. I actually prefer not having too wide of an angle because I like to put these things as far away as possible from the subject's residence or workplace or wherever you, I might have them. And you can see my buddy Steve over there wandering around in his yard. All right, it's starting to get pretty dark here. The lights are coming on. Uh, you can see the Ricolo, the street's very, very dark. It's almost pitch black. Um, the lighting is very vague. The TLC 200 is, everything's visible. You can see everything that's going on. All the moving over there, you can, you can completely see it. So as you can tell, this is my favorite uh, product here, and that's why I became an affiliate for Smart Tech and uh, the Brino line of, of cameras. This is the only one of the line that I've tested so far. I'm going to be testing some more, and but this is their latest product, and I love it. If I want to see what's going on at somebody's uh, house for an entire week, their comings and goings, not a problem. If I, uh, I can, it's even usable to film. It's a frame every second, which is what this one goes down to. Not all these go down to that. Not even the hunting cameras. Uh, it's quite reasonable. You could get someone cutting their lawn. You could uh, film someone doing anything out front, working on their car, and submit that to your client. So, if you want to purchase the Brino TL200. Just go to www.investigativetraining.org and click on the Brino Smart Tech banner and it'll take you right through the product. And thank you very much.